Hello everyone. Welcome back. We have completed two lessons of the chapter on equality and in the previous class we studied about the four different types of equality in India. Also we studied about the provisions like the first one the provisions in the Indian constitution the first one was every person is equal before the law second no person can be discriminated on any basis like the religion caste race etc the third one was every person has access to all the public places including playgrounds hotels and markets the fourth one untouchability has been removed now today we shall discuss about the implementation the, the what government try to implement the equality now there are two ways in which the government has tried to implement the equality the first one is as you can see through laws and the second one is through government programs and schemes now there are several laws in India that protect every person's right to be treated equally. In addition to laws, the government has also set up several schemes to improve the lives of communities and individuals. Now, as I told you, there are several laws made in India to save the rights or the dignity of the people. Some major schemes, some programs and schemes like reservation in jobs and colleges for the Dalits or the Jan Dhan Yojana or Gramin Berojkar Yojana were implemented by the government of India to uplift the poor. As we know that in Indian constitution there is a program or the scheme or the policy of reservation. All right. So who gets reservation? The people. The backward people or the people below poverty line who are not able to uh, enroll themselves in good colleges and schools, they get reservation. So reservation is not only in colleges but also in jobs to make each and every people near the in, in parallel lines. Now, one of these steps taken by the government includes the mid-year scheme. This refers to the program introduced in all government elementary schools to provide children with cooked lunch. Now, as I told you, this was the program introduced in all the government elementary schools to provide children with cooked lunch. Now, Midday Meal program, it was started in Tamil Nadu. In 2001, the Supreme Court instructed all the states to implement Midday Meal scheme in their schools. This is a means to promote education as more children are encouraged to go to schools. So, the motive was, uh, the motive behind the implementation of this midday meal scheme was that if the children, as we know that poor people, they are not able to get food of one time event. So, basically the, th the motive behind it was that if the children will come and they will get food, they will be more and more interested to enroll themselves in the schools. It promotes the education as more children are encouraged to go to the schools. This includes the fact that more poor children have begun enrolling and regularly attending school. Teachers supported that earlier children would often go home for lunch and then not return to school. But now, with the midday meal being provided in school, their, att their attendance has improved and uh, it helps in maintaining a good scenario, a good uh, attendance record in the school. Now, midday meal had many positive effects. They are more poor children began enrolling and regularly attending schools. This program helped reduce caste prejudice. Because both lower and upper caste children in the school eat this meal together. This program also provided food and nutrition to the children of poor families who were not able to provide healthy nutrition to their children. The scheme has also improved the lives of Dalit women 
as they have been employed to cook meals. Not only it helps the children to uh, get lunch or to get proper uh, food with healthy nutrition, but also it helps the Dalit women who enroll themselves in the school as a employee. Now, what were the changing attitudes? Now, the changing attitudes very slow. Even few persons are aware that discrimination is against the law, they continue to treat people unequally on the basis of their caste, religion, disability. Now, continuous struggle. Then, next is equality in books must reach the ground. So, basically, the the things that we used to study in our books, they, these things should not only be on the paper, but also it should be implemented and it should be in the mind of the youth. Establishing equality in a democratic society is a continuous struggle. Now, what we have studied, the two ways in which the government has tried to implement the equality, they are by law and by introducing schemes and programs. Midday meal was one of the main programs. The attitude of the people changed very slowly. There are some questions for you. In the next class, we shall discuss about the issues of equality in other democracies.